Hi everyone. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do the Dragon Age Inquisition flycam. So I'm making a video. It's much easier than just typing it out. All right, you're sitting in front of your computer. First thing you want to do, open your file explorer. You're going to want to know where your Dragon Age Inquisition game is at on your computer. It's important. Mine is on my D drive. You might not have a D drive. It might be on the C drive. It's on a drive somewhere. Open your drive and find Origin. Double click and find Dragon Age Inquisition. We are now in the Dragon Age Inquisition file. Dragon Age Inquisition .exe has to be in this file. This is the actual game. This one right here. That is important and it's needed. First step, make a new folder. Name it Flight Camera. That's all you need. Just Flight Camera. I'm going to add the number one at the end because I have already have a flight camera folder and we're doing a whole new thing. We have the flight camera folder. It's good to go. Exit out of your file explorer. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into your web browser. Open up a new one. Type in www. Scene. Sin. C-I-N-E tools T-O-O-L-S dot X-Y-Z slash games slash I'm going to leave it up for a second so you guys can keep up. And then we hit enter. It's going to bring you to Cinemac Tools and their list of all the games that they have fly cams for. We're going to find Dragon Age Inquisition and left click. It's going to download your file. You want to find the little arrow next to the file, the zip file, and left click it. You want to hit show in folder. Now it's going to pull up your downloads and it's going to show you exactly where the zipped file that you just downloaded went to on your computer. So we have CT Dragon Age Inquisition dot zip. You want to right click on that file and go up to 7-zip. Go over to Extract Files. Now this is the important part where you needed to remember where your Dragon Age Inquisition file is and the flight camera that you just made, the folder. You're going to click these three little dots to the right and it's going to browse for folder. My Dragon Age Inquisition is on D drive. Under Origin, under Dragon Age Inquisition, and the flight camera folder that you just made. Yours should say flight camera. Hit OK and now it says extract to D drive, origin folder, Dragon Age Inquisition folder, and flight camera. That is where this file is going to go and hit OK. Now you have this up, your file explorer is up. Go ahead just to double check, go into your D drive or wherever your Dragon Age is, origin, Dragon Age Inquisition, the folder you made called Flight Camera. Inside of it should be CT underscore Dragon Age Inquisition. If you open that, you now have Dragon Age Inquisition Cinematic Tools .exe. This is the actual flight camera. It's important that you know where it is. I always have this File Explorer screen pulled up before I start Dragon Age just because it's easier for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what we want to do 
is you're going to go to your Dragon Age Inquisition game on your desktop or wherever you have it and you're going to want to right click on it. Go down to run as administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make change to your device, Dragon Age Inquisition? Yes. Let it do its thing. So now it's going to open. Mine takes a minute because I have a lot of mods going. Strawberry milk for the win. Click to continue. Sorry, I don't know how to video edit. Or else I just, you know, like cut this whole chunk out. But I'm lazy. Hmm. My cat's over there eyeballing me. Okay, we're in the game. I'm at Skyhold in my chambers. It's hard to miss you, baby, but I can't hold you right this second, okay? Can you give me like five more minutes? Hmm? Sorry. Alright, so. Now what we want to do is I'm going to hit escape just to pause the game for a second. You want to go to the alt key, which is just left of your spacebar key hold it down, and then hit tab. It'll pull you out of the game. You're going to want to go to the file explorer that you have up, or open it, and get to your Dragon Age Cinematic Tools EXE. I'm going to right click on it while the game is still up, mind you, over here. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to run it as administrator. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? DAI Cinematic Tools EXE. Yes. It's going to pull up your free camera, your flight cam screen thingy. And then it's going to pull this up. Don't touch anything. Don't click on anything until this screen comes up and it does its knocking and then hit says GUI found in green. It is very, very important that the fly cam finds the GUI. I'm going to go to this screen right here. The fly cam starts at 1 for the movement speed and 1.14 for the rotation speed. One movement speed is not going to work for m anything you do pretty much too slow. Too, too slow. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 10. I like to move in intervals of 5. I don't, you can do whatever you want. Rotation speed, I'm going to move down mm, to 0.75. All of that is set. You don't need to touch anything else. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click back on the game. And it's going to pull the game up and you're back exactly where you were before. I'm going to hit escape to get out of there. She's standing there. To activate the fly cam in the game, you want to hit insert, which is left of home and above delete. Hit it. I am now in fly cam. movement. 
moving the fly cam is kind of a pain in the butt. You'll get used to it. You'll do great at it. But the first few times you do it, you're going to get irritated and you're going to mess up. It's all right. We're going to go down to our arrow keys, the up, left, down, and right button. These are how you move the camera view, left and right, and up and down. You're going to want to go to the right of the arrow keys to your number pad. Eight is forward, five is backward, four is left, six is right, seven is down, nine is up. So using the arrow keys and the number pad, I can now move you're going to need both hands. It's, it's going to have to happen. I can now move wherever I want. And I can take any and all the pictures I want. So we're going to say let's want this picture, okay? Underneath the insert button is the delete button. When you hit the delete button, your HUD disappears. Now I can take this glorious 3440 by 1440p picture of the courtyard. Screenshot has been saved to gallery. If you're in, say you're in a cutscene, and like the pictures I posted yesterday of Trevelyan, Trevelyan and Solus and Haven doing their fade kiss thing, you want to pause it. The fly camera will pause cutscenes for you. All you got to do is next to the insert button is the home key. Hit home. Everything will pause. You can still use your number keypad to move everything around. You can take whatever pictures you want. So say, let's say I want to go down to the lake at the bottom of Skyhold, over there. But I'm moving too slow. It would take me 10 minutes to get there at a speed of 10. I'm going to hit escape again. Everything's going to pause. I'm going to hit alt and tab again. And it should pull you directly to this. I'm going to up my speed to 50 and then just click again on the game in the background. Now I'm moving faster and it should only take me 30 seconds to get down there. When you start your fly cam, sometimes it'll be in wonky places and you don't know where you are. Oh, this is kind of funny. The little figures down here are dark spawn. Dark spawn and a mixture of other things. It's a gray warden. There's a dark spawn. Oh, back to the fly cam. Okay, so say you're in a place and you turn on the fly cam. And you're looking around, and you see white and nothing else. 99% of the time, you need to go up. You're underneath the ground, and it's harder to see things when you're under the ground, because there's no ground. Hit 9, and travel up. And at some point, you will find ground, and then you can reorient yourself. Before I start fly cam and I'm in a place that I don't know and I don't know where I'm going and I'm lost, an easy fix for this is to get out of your fly camera, which is insert, and if you have it paused home, 
is to go. Make sure everything's on so you know what the hell you're doing. Is I'm gonna go and find something where it's gonna pull up words. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back into my fly cam. And now I have words. It's gonna tell you exactly where your character is at. It has helped me many, many times when I'm lost or my camera's often BFE way out in the middle of nowhere. I can reorient myself and go whichever way I need to go. So now we're back in the game. At any time you can hit delete and remove your HUD. Like even if you're just playing, I like to play with it off because I have the buttons memorized. It just makes it a little bit better to look at, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of if I forgot anything. Okay, we'll recap. We'll, we'll do that. Insert is your fly cam. Off, on, off, on. Home is pause and unpause. Delete is your HUD. Your arrow keys, which is below that little, those six little keys. Your up down, left, and right orients the camera view over to your number keypad. 8 is forward, 5 is backward, 4 is left, 6 is right, 7 is down, 9 is up. The 1 and 3 buttons will tilt your camera on an axis. So it'll go from flat to woo! Woo! I don't use those. They're pain in the ass. And the second you have your camera not at a perfect straight angle, you almost can never get it back if you hit the one and three. And then it's going to bother the crap out of you because it's going to be tilted just the tiniest little bit. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. There might be mod conflicts, I don't know. As always, use this with your own caution. I'm not responsible if you blow your computer up. The company is not responsible. The, the fly cam company is not responsible if they blow your computer up. Um, I haven't gotten any viruses off this program. Um, haven't heard of anybody else getting any viruses, but I don't know if it'll counteract with like cheat engines or something. Nobody knows. Just do, do anything you do with your computer, use your own caution and pay attention to what you're loading onto your computer. If you guys have any questions, just comment on this and I would be more than happy to try and help you. If you guys want a video on how to do mods for Dragon Age, I'd be more than happy to help you with that too. It's a little, little little bit more complicated than this. Not much. Once you, once you get the hang of it, you got it. Um, I can't wait to see your guys' screenshots. That'll be fun. Um, and I hope this helped at least one person. So, bye.